we have here an exceptionally beautiful and pristine escritorio or a drop front writing desk. This piece features a panel on its side decorated by stylized flowers linked by kamagong line inlay. It's an unusual pattern, but it speaks of the fact that it was a custom-made piece. They would install those handles so that the piece could be pushed and pulled at will. The owner would like to do his accounts first in the kaida, which is the entrance hall, or sometimes he would like to do it in the privacy of his bedroom. And sometimes he would probably want to do it in his comedor, in his dining room, so that he could work even during meal times or what, so probably pulled there. This one's a beautiful example because it has unusual turned legs in beautiful tindalo wood, which dated from around 1850. And then it has these excellently rendered guillotte flanges. And of course, the inlay is very beautiful with diamonds and stylized flowers. Mortis and dowel constructions in the Chinese style. And that's what makes a lot of Batangas work distinct. It really is a hybrid of Filipino and Chinese craftsmanship. Very Filipino in look, but the underlying technology is Chinese. We have here an early example of a baliwag komada. We say this is early because of the exquisite yet very restrained inlay. The two top drawers feature kamagong marquetry instead of the usual bone. Other drawers have this undulating kamagong line inlay, the usual four colonnettes of kamagong wood, the beautiful ribbon-like inlay on the sides of the piece. This type of inlay is only found in the better baliwag pieces, which just shows how important this piece is. We have accounts that when the Americans came in 1899, the baliwag craftsmen displayed these pieces on the patio of the baliwag church for the American soldiers to purchase. And that explains why there are several of these examples found in the United States. So the Americans would have had a lot to do with the forms and development of this Baliwag furniture. <laughs>